Hey guys, Alec back for another video and today we are going to be discussing the topic of bulking up. And what is it exactly? Is there any way to approach it? Um, depending on what you look like, is there any solution to this? Is this even a great way to, you know, put on muscle? Now, let's start out the definition of bulking. Bulking is essentially where you're eating in a calorie surplus and you're very active and you're putting on muscle. But does this work for everybody? The answer is no. Um, it really does depend on how you look. And people are going to say that the somatotypes don't matter. But they do a little bit in this case. So I made a list. I used the term eat big to get big. Because we hear that a lot. Especially like amongst big bodybuilders. That's the only way you can put on muscle. Eat big to get big. That's just another way of saying you might get fat or you might not. All right. So I made a list, right? So we're going to go through this. So we have the three somatotypes or body types, I should say. We have ectomorph, we got mesomorph, and we got endomorph. Now let's explain what these mean. All right. Ectomorph is somebody who is extremely, extremely skinny. You know, that one guy that can eat a fuckload of burgers and pizzas and they don't even put on a pound, like a sheer pound. And you're thinking to yourself, how do you do that? I'm jealous. Um, that is what an ectomorph is. It's someone who's extremely, extremely skinny, either tall or either short. It doesn't really matter. It's in their genetics. And it's someone who typically can eat so much food and hardly put on any weight. Okay. Mesomorph is the perfect genetics. This is between the two semi shitty genetics that people end up getting. Mesomorph is where you can easily put on muscle and easily burn off fat. That's what a mesomorph is, and it's it's just basically a person who has more muscle mass than the average person, and someone who can easily put that on, compared to someone who's an ectomorph or an endomorph. This is a person who has just the perfect genes. This is basically what every man aspires to have as a body type. Endomorph. Now that we discussed that these two approaches you can probably assume what endomorph is endomorph is someone who has more fat cells than the average person okay this is someone who struggles with losing weight even if they sometimes do it the right way they send they still end up going back to square one okay that's how that works with these body types mind you okay that nobody is a pure body type of one of these okay nobody is a pure ectomorph nobody's a pure mesomorph and nobody's a pure endomorph, okay? You can be um, in a spectrum, okay? So you can be either a little bit of mesomorph or you can be a little bit of ectomorph, like combined. You can be a little bit of me mesomorph and endomorph. You can either, you know, have all three of these body types. It seriously does depend on your genetics because nobody is necessarily going to be all three of these, okay? So you're going to be on a spectrum of like either two to three or very close to one, but you're still going to have a little bit of a different type of body type within your genetics. Okay. So let's say you are, okay. A pure body type of these. Okay. So as we go on, can the term eat big to get big work for somebody who is an ectomorph? Yes. Yes. It can definitely work, but does it have problems? Does it have any benefits? Let's talk about the problems. Like I stated earlier, it is hard to put on muscle and it's also hard to put on um fat because as a person who is an ectomorph it's really really hard to actually you know bulk and i know a lot of people who have this type of body type are very close to it um they can eat so much food and they can they hardly put on muscle they can put on strength sure um, strength and muscle do correlate um a lot but they also have a difference you can actually have a lot of strength but have hardly any mass right as an ectomorph okay so you will you'll definitely have a problem um and a harder time putting on muscle but there is a benefit you can are you can hardly put on any fat hardly so this is for someone who is an ectomorph um it will this term can work for a certain amount of these people okay let's go on to mesomorph like i said this is the person who can easily lose weight and easily put on muscle does this come with problems? Yes, of course it does. It definitely comes with a problem. You might put on a little bit of fat gain doing it this approach. Um, 
it's difficult to kind of, you know, do it this way. Um, what I definitely recommend is because this statement is a bunch of horse shit, okay? But it does apply to some body types. So it definitely doesn't apply to everyone who's a mesomorph. Like I know some mesomorphs who have a little bit of ectomorph in them, like myself, um, who can bulk up, but they're still going to put on a little bit of fat, okay? That happened to me. Here's a picture of me when I was at my leanest on the left side of the picture on the comparison and on the end of my bulk on the right. I did put on a little bit of fat, but it was not as much as I was expecting. That's because I have a little bit of these. I can put on weight easily and I can lose weight extremely easy as well. Benefits. Of course, like I just said, you're going to have an increase in muscle mass. That's what makes it easy to be a mesomorph is you can easily put on muscle mass. So yes, the problem you're going to have is you may put on some fat gain, okay? When I bulked up, I put on 24 pounds of muscle in six months. It's a pound a week. That's great. If it's any more than a pound a week or a half a pound a week, you're doing roids, man. Just keep that in mind. Now we're on to endomorphs. Okay, endomorphs, like I stated earlier, are the people who typically have more fat cells than the average person. Okay, this is somebody that has or big bone, they're big, and they walk around. You probably know a lot of football players, especially linemen. They typically have this type of body type. So if you do the whole eat big to get big approach to be for an endomorph, you're going down to further road than you're already at, man. Okay. You don't want to do this approach because what you're going to have is more excessive fat gain. Okay. You're going to have more excessive fat gain. Um, and the benefits are going to be very negligible. Okay. So let's say you bulk up as an endomorph. Okay. You end up putting on excessive amounts of fat. Then you cut. Let's say you cut. Then you realize you didn't put on a whole lot of muscle at all. You probably put on a very little muscle. So this is definitely not going to help you in a sense. All right, you're just going to be fatter, big boned. It's not going to be sustainable. Do not follow this approach. That's, of course, if we're assuming that you're a pure body type. Like I said, I had to like mix this up a little bit to kind of get you guys a visual understanding. Now let's talk about how to approach these. Eat big to get big is going to apply to just a little bit of people. It just depends on who you are. If you're an ectomorph, I really do encourage you to eat big to get big that whole quote you should definitely do it because eating in a calorie surplus is going to put on a lot of mass of course the benefit you get is you're going to have negligible fat gains so this is definitely down your alley i would definitely be approaching this type of lifestyle let's talk about mesomorphs right do i recommend people to bulk when they are a mesomorph and use the whole eat big to get big it depends on this one too so if you're um in between these two i would definitely say you, you can give it a try but if you don't like what you're seeing in the mirror and in, in terms of fat you've went too far so what i recommend for a mesomorph is to typically eat at maintenance calories and do just basically progressive overload and you'll put on size that way you don't have to bulk okay you don't have to you can if you want to but just know that you're going to probably put on a little bit of fat in the process of putting on the muscle okay let's talk about endomorph how do you approach this situation in terms of putting on muscle and burning off fat the answer lies with a calorie deficit i've always explained this right a calorie deficit is going to work in this approach okay and people say that you can't build muscle while you are in a deficit and that is so incorrect it all depends on three factors which is your amount of protein you're intaking um your activity level and your water intake yes be in a calorie deficit when you are an endomorph or almost close to an endomorph and you can also put on muscle mass that way too people think you can't put muscle mass on when you're in a deficit you yes you can okay so that's how i would approach these guys this is definitely something that I needed to really like loosen up and for everybody to understand is that not everybody's the same. Okay. Not everybody's the same, but you should definitely train and eat like everybody else. But some people are going to have to have a little bit more tweaks than others. Okay. So that's all I'm going to talk about for this video, guys. I hope you guys understood just a little bit of what I was saying there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.